Welcome to Untapped Oklahoma. What is Untapped Oklahoma, you ask? I am so glad you did. It's all about local breweries, brewery culture, venues, events, and restaurants. Now, in the first episode, we'll be taking you to the very tip top of the world, or so it'll feel like that. We'll be at the rooftop at the sidecar in Oklahoma City. Then, it's off to the Nine Band Brewing Company at the Osage Casino in Tulsa for the inaugural pour out. So cool. Want to go to the dogs? Well, let's join them on the patio at Winston's in Norman. Hey, everybody needs a lesson in glasses. Beer glasses, that is, right? We've got that too. Then, Pub W to educate your palate and match it off with incredible craft brews. It's going to be fantastic. So look, why don't you come and hang out with us? It's time for Untapped. We spent a windy day in Oklahoma City on the rooftop Sidecar Barley and Wine Bar. It was unbelievable. These guys rolled up the big doors. We sat down, talked great music, great drinks, and great times. You've got to check it out. The original concept was a sidecar to our very first chop house, Broadway 10. Uh, but sidecar alone has evolved into so much more. We become Oklahoma City's premier rooftop patio bar. When people come here, the initial experience is seeing our massive liquor storage at the very top of the bar. Uh, it's a full 360, you can walk around as a guest and see every single bottle of liquor and wine that we sell here. When they come out to the rooftop patio with a big garage door that's rolled up, I mean, it's just kind of a wow factor. They think, they come here for good drinks and good times. And when they sit here on the patio, we're kind of an urban oasis. I mean, they, they feel like they're on top of the world. I mean, you, you, you feel like you could be in LA or Dubai but you're right here at home in Oklahoma. The sidecar has really revolutionized rooftop bars in the city. Um, there is kind of a need for live music, especially in northern Oklahoma City, and we bridge that gap by offering awesome local talent with a premier space and awesome drinks. This is a really unique experience as far as bands being able to play here. Uh, we don't, there aren't any other venues that are like this. Um, and this venue came along at a time where we really needed new live music venues. So it's been, it's been a great blessing in the town for, for a lot of local players. You know, when we first opened, we only did live bands once a week. We did them on Thursday nights. And then the next year, we saw such a huge following for it that we started, we added another day. And so we're doing it twice a week on Wednesdays and Thursdays, which aren't really the largest days of the, of the week to have a busy night at a bar. And we're having a huge following every single week every single Wednesday and Thursday. I think the atmosphere is really conducive to, to, to live music just because of the way the stage is located. Everyone that's sitting out here is, is paying attention to the, to the band. Um, and it's a very involved experience for both the band and the people that are out here watching. So we do some really fun things here. Uh, for one, we do smoked red wine glasses. Uh, anybody that wants a smoked wine glass, we put some hickory chips. We smoke them and it swirls on the inside of the glass and creates that extra sensory experience of a backyard campfire smell as you're taking a sip. Um, our number one sold item though is the Old Fashioned. Uh, we have a smoky Old Fashioned where we do the same thing. We, we buy some hickory chips, smoke the glass, and then we create an Old Fashioned using a really spicy rye whiskey and sugar cubes. So it's not too sweet, it's not too bold, it's a perfect balance. Although we do have a small food menu, what we do, we do well. So we have a nice charcuterie board. Uh, one of the more hit items are smoked turkey panini. It's stacked. I mean, we have one and a half inches of smoked turkey with some smoked gouda, Havarti, barbecue, bacon. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. Yes, for beer drinkers, you definitely need to have an open mind. Uh, we have a great relationship with local breweries. Uh, we carry quite a, few, quite a few local options that people in any genre would love. And we hit all the demographics. You know, I would say here at Sidecar, our demographic is just alive at heart. Uh, we hit everything from Lung professionals to baby boomers um, and anybody in between. You're really just anybody who wants to have a good time and a good drink. Every great craft brew deserves a great craft brew glass. What's the best shape to drink a lager in? What about a stout? Let's take a minute and get a lesson in glassware. So here at Decent People Tap Room, uh, we have a bunch of beers. So we have to have at least a variety of different kind of glassware. So right here we have a mug, you can call it a Stein. Usually in these kind of beers, we'll put something that has like a lighter uh, alcohol volume to it, like Milds or Pilsners maybe. Next over here we have a tool of glass. 
And tulip glasses, are, I think, are perfect for any kind of beer, especially for beers that are have a lot of flavor and a lot of aroma to them, because the way that it's shaped, the bulb in the glass holds the volume, and then as it comes up, it's tapered a little bit, so all that aroma goes to your nose as you sip. Without the nose, we can't taste. So next we have the American Shaker Pint. Um, this one is really more what you think of that you put like light beer into. Um, just the way that it's shaped, it, it lets a lot of the aroma out, so it's not really that suitable for things like IPAs and beers that have a lot of uh, aroma to them. So the stuff you want to put in here are usually like a lighter beer, something that you can drink relatively fast. Uh, next over here is just, we use a wine glass. Really wine glasses are perfect for beer. It's any type of wine glass really can work for things like sours, Belgians, or IPAs. And over here we just have a small taster glass, it usually holds around like four ounces. This is so people can make flights out of them and sample a bunch of different beers. If this was, let's say, like a little bit taller, they call them a shtick in German, and then you can put in like things like Kolsch's and Pilsner's in it. And usually you drink them really quick, and you just grab another one, drink it real fast, grab another one. When the Osage Casino in Tulsa was searching for a craft brewery that best fit their brand, they found the Nine Band Brewing Company. They also discovered brewmaster Ryan Smart. We were lucky enough to join Ryan the day he poured the Badge Honey Blonde the first beer brewed on location. He shared it with Ryan Bighorse, CEO of the Osage Casino, and us. Hi, I'm Ryan Smart, I'm the brewmaster for Osage Nation presenting Nine Band Brewing Company. It started roughly about 24 months ago. Uh, I was in the design process of our new uh, $160 million casino here in Tulsa. Um, and I had an epiphany one day um, of how we're gonna make ourselves different. It just so happened I took a meeting with an individual that owned a brewery. Uh, and craft beer is hot. And it kind of, to me it was an omen. We're now the 12th or 13th brewery in Tulsa. So if you see a nine band beer at QT, at Costco, at Walmart, at Reesers, it was brewed right here at this casino. I think we hit a home run. Nine band name actually comes from the North American Armadillo. It actually has nine bands down the, its back. So far, I love this. I'm hands on. You get to sit here and make art that you can drink. It's fantastic. With our two locations here at the Osage Casinos and Hotel, uh, we have two main bars. We have the nine, nine band bar and we also have the Thunder Bar in the south corner. Um, at these two locations, we go through about 30 kegs a week of these guys, and that's a lot of beer. We uh, met this young man, um, and he's a rock star. He's doing a fantastic job, and we're very, very happy that Ryan's here with us. Byron, as your brewmaster, I'm proud to offer you the first nine band honey badge out of your property of Osage Casino. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. The first glass of beer out of the new facility is outstanding. He did a marvelous job, uh, couldn't be happier. It's very tasty. I have a couple beers in front of us. These are gonna be some of the beers we actually make here on site. We have a 20 barrel brew house. We're capable of doing a two run in a single day. So that gives us 40 barrels of beer that we can produce in one day. And that's essentially 80 of these kegs. This particular beer in front of us is the Toad Choker. It's a barley wine. It's about 10.6% alcohol. Next to it, we are looking at the Pale Ale, which is our nine band um, namesake. It's a delicious, balanced, American-style Pale Ale. We also have the Ghost Cow. It's a Marzan, very Oktoberfest-inspired. We also have our Hoop Snake which is a Hefeweizen. It's got a great banana clove to it, very traditional to a German-style Hefeweizen. I want to personally invite everyone out here to take a look at this beautiful facility. We've got some great beers, and I personally want to thank Byron Big Horse, the whole Osage tribe, and Keith from Nine Band Brewing. This one's for you. We're all going to the dogs. Winston's in Norman, where pets and their humans 
can enjoy a great time just relaxing on their fantastic patio. They feature small plates that won't break the bank. They've got a huge champagne selection and wait until you check out the Sham Bong. Awesome. So grab that furry friend and let's all roll to Winston's. Come on. We got the name The Winston from our owner. We're part of House Smith Restaurant Group. Uh, Hal's middle name is Winston after Winston Churchill. And so we're uh, Hal Winston Smith, and so we're the Winston after Hal. A lot of our clientele is the local community of Norman. Norman itself is a pretty diverse community, from the students at OU to the families and the business professionals around. So they have a pretty good mix of everyone in Norman. Our patio is one of our biggest draws for us. Uh, you know, you only have so many days in Oklahoma that's great patio weather, and we try to capitalize on every single one of them. Uh, I'm also a dog owner, so I love a patio where my dog is allowed. Uh, we have a lot of great pets that are out there. We have dogs and cats out there. Uh, it's just a full pet-friendly patio, but it is, it's really nice because you can sit in the shade, grab a watermelon fresca, and hang out for a few hours and take your time. Our menu inspiration comes a lot from having small plates and getting variety. Instead of breaking the bank with one plate, you get a little bit more variety. So we have different flavors, like uh, some Asian-influenced dishes, some hispanic influence, but also some American as well. One of the most recognizable items for us is going to be the Prime Minister. It's going to be the chicken fried filet sandwich. We hand press the filet to order. Uh, it's nice and tender. It really just falls apart, truly buttery. Um, and keep it pretty classic and simple on a regular bun, mayo, lettuce, tomato. My favorite dish is going to be our um, duck wings. It's going to be drizzled with the hoisin soy glaze and a spicy sriracha topped with sesame seeds and green onions. I like it because it's got a lot of flavor. Um, you don't find duck wings everywhere either, so it's a little bit off the beaten path, but still really, really good. We have about eight different champagnes on our menu. Uh, bubbles are a great way to pair really well with a lot of different foods, from your spicy to your salty or fish. You have a lot of options with uh, bubbles and, and food pairings as well. One of the things we don't want people to think is we take it too seriously. Uh, so we have the champagnes here, which is basically a shot of champagne. Literally, you take champagne right down the hatch. Um, and it's just another way to light, lighten the mood. Um, we do have a lot of champagne and people kind of put it on the pedestal, and that's not really where we want it to be. It's just supposed to be kind of relaxed and easy. We want people to have fun more than anything else. It's a, it's a great way to make it like a really welcoming environment without it being too stuffy or anything like that. Our specialty cocktail is a watermelon fresca. It's what we're known for around these parts. It's a frozen drink with uh, fresh watermelon, fresh lemon, ginger, a uh, little bit of vodka, and champagne. Uh, it's served frozen. Uh, it's perfect for the patio. It's really refreshing. Our whiskey selection focuses heavily on American bourbon uh, to kind of highlight what's going on around us. We do even offer Oklahoma local bourbon as well. If you're looking for the expensive and rare, we definitely have some of that, uh, but we're a little bit more proud of our everyday, great daily drinkers that we have to offer as well. With our whiskey selection, one of the things that we offer is a $5 Old Fashioned on draft. So every day you have a Old Fashioned right out, of, right out of the tap for $5. It's made with Old Forester Rye, which is a brand new product. It's a great, great rye whiskey for an everyday value. Um, so that, that's something that we are super proud of to be able to offer everyone to get a quick drink and uh, you know, not to wait forever to get one. Our biggest focus is always our food. We have a really great bar with really great cocktails, but we know that our food is what the highlight really is. A lot of people kind of look past it because you see all the liquor bottles and all the whiskey, but our food's definitely not on the back burner. It's something we put a lot of focus on. We keep our food quality as high as possible. So even while you're getting a great drink sitting on the patio, you have a lot of great food you can enjoy with it as well. When Pub W opened in 2013, the Oklahoma craft beer scene was just getting started. Today, they are craft everything. They pair craft brews with their made from scratch menu. Great food and great drinks paired together. Let's see how they do it. Pub W was founded in 2013 and it's an American ale house. So it kind of uh, appeals to all walks of life. And one of my favorite things about Pub W is it's a little bit more contemporary than a lot of other restaurants, but it does still appeal uh, to the masses. I would say that we are Oklahoma's favorite pub uh, because we have great product, but also because we're a part of the Hal Smith restaurant group. Uh, Hal Smith, of course, is uh, you know the number one restaurant tour in the Midwest and uh, has a, you know so many successful concepts and uh, people have really backed us, I think, because of the the great uh, tradition that Hal Smith Restaurant Group has provided this area. We have a really wonderful atmosphere. Um, our service standards are far and away better than any other restaurant or bar that I've worked at, and I think that that really sets us apart. Um, of course, we do uh, craft everything, so we focus on local craft beers. We make pretty much everything in the kitchen from scratch. It's easier, it tastes better, it's absolutely amazing. And then all of our cocktails, uh, we make our syrups in-house. We use fresh ingredients as often as we can, and it just really sets us above any other place in Oklahoma. 
I would say our menu is going to be uh, some of the best burgers you've had. That is a place that's not a burger joint. You won't find better burgers anywhere. In fact, our burgers are better than most burger joints. Our fried chicken is, I've always safely said, the best in Oklahoma City. Uh, people that argue with me on that a lot of times, you know, are wrong. So uh, that's, uh, that's, you know, never frozen chicken. We brine it in-house. I mean, it's awesome. When we opened in 2013, the Oklahoma craft beer scene was really just kind of starting to get its legs underneath it. Um, and we were one of the first locations to open with large taps and a large number of taps. We realized that this was something that we wanted to be a part of. Um, not just the Oklahoma craft beer scene, but the American craft beer scene. We wanted to promote it, we wanted to kind of specialize in it, and we wanted to be able to uh, expand Oklahomans' palates, honestly, um, to, to get to the point where you have craft drinkers in Oklahoma and home brewers in Oklahoma and, and the thriving uh, craft beer community that we have right now. Uh, beer has really been uh, kind of Oklahoma's uh, in my opinion, the hidden industry, you know, you have oil and everything out here. Well, beer has really, uh, especially the last, you know, eight to ten years, has really been up and coming out here. And Pub W is on the forefront of that. We're premiering our new menu um, here right after Mother's Day. It's very patio heavy, so um, has citrus floral notes to it. Things, things that people want to sit outside in the summertime and just sip on. Probably my favorite right now is called the Laser Beams and Red Weeds. It is a Cointreau spritzer and it kind of, kind of tastes like alcoholic Sprite. <laughs> um, it is easily, like really easy to drink. And then of course it has a dried hibiscus flower in it just for that kind of overarching sci-fi feel to it. Uh, one thing that's great about Pub W is, you know, different nights of the week we run different specials. On Wednesday night we have what's called our Wine Down Wednesday, and the Wine Down Wednesday is a different wine selection each week. Uh, Thursdays we have what's called a pub pick or a pint night where we'll feature different beers, uh, whether it be, you know, something local or, or out of state, and great happy hour daily as well. Well, we'd love to have you at Pub W. Uh, we have some of the best service, the best beer selection, and the best food you're going to find from scratch in Oklahoma. Okay, that's it for the first episode of Untapped Oklahoma. We'd like to send a very special thanks to the great places we got to visit. Unbelievable. And you know what? If you missed it, just check it out on our website. It's always right there. And also, if you've got a brewery, a restaurant, or an upcoming event you would like us to feature, just give us a call. Until then, for all of us at Untapped, keep your head up. <laughs>